December 6, 2022, Tuesday. For the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. Jeremiah 33 and 11. The Lord had shown Jeremiah his prophet the great and mighty things that he would do in the lives of the people of Judah. The Lord told that he would bring health and cure unto his people, revealing peace and truth unto them. Verse 6 The Lord also told that he will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and he would build them again, as it is written in verse 7. The Lord would cleanse them from all their iniquity and pardon their iniquity, as we see in verse 8. Moreover, the Lord told there would be voice of joy and the voice of gladness heard again in Jerusalem. According to verses 10 and 11, that voice of gladness and the voice of joy is about worshipping and praising the Lord, saying that the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever. When the Lord would return the captivity of Judah, they would praise the Lord and also offer sacrifices unto the Lord, bringing the sacrifices of praise into the house of the Lord. The song that says that the Lord is good and his mercy endureth forever is a old song, but because it was sung in a new situation, it is a new song that the Lord had put in the mouths of the people, those who have returned from the captivity. As we observe in Psalm 126, verses 1 and 2, when the Lord turns the captivity of his people, there would be laughter filling their mouths. These are the words the Lord had spoken through his prophet Jeremiah. But in fact, it had happened when the people of God returned from their captivity. The fulfillment of that prophecy can be seen in the book of Ezra chapter 3 verse 11, which reads, And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord, because he is good, for his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted, with a great shout when they praised the Lord. The Lord would do such great things unto all his people while bringing the people unto himself. Whatever they have lost because of their disobedience and failure, the Lord would restore again unto them when they are turned to the Lord. For example, health and cure, peace and joy, forgiveness of sins and iniquities, the joy and gladness, worship and praise in the mouths of his people. As the people of God went into captivity because of the disobedience and failure to listen to the warnings of God that he had given unto them repeatedly, we also, like them, enter into manifold troubles and difficulties whenever we neglect the loving warnings of our God. However, when we return to the Lord, He would give us back everything that we have lost. The Lord is good and His mercy endures forever. He will give us health and cure peace and joy, forgiveness of sins and iniquities, joy and gladness in our hearts. Amen.